our project <clears throat> so our project is secret a modern password manager the problem with most password managers is the act of transporting data we've gotten really good at encrypting data when we can um, the math behind encryption algorithms is sound and HTTPS and SSL can securely send data from one network to another. But a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. The, whenever you have to input, a, uh, input data into a field on a browser, it must by nature be in its unencrypted form. And that's, as we know with browsers um, and their vulnerabilities that they've had, that is a big problem. So how do we get around this? One of the one potential solution is Fidelius. Um, its threat model assumes that the entire system is completely compromised and tries to figure out a way to still log in safely. It promises to keep a user's credentials private by using a computer's built-in hardware-based enclave. But it does have some drawbacks. First off, and most obviously, the device itself must have a hardware enclave. Um, so that just means that older devices just straight up won't work with it. Um, secondly, um, only sites that have added support for Fidelius can work securely. That means that um, developers would have to completely change their site to explicitly support Fidelius. And if they don't, then Fidelius just, it won't work on the site. And three, it also just requires a bunch of extra connections in between your computer and the input devices, as well as the output to a monitor. So similar to Fidelius, our goal was to create a password manager that can keep the user's credentials secure regardless of any malware on the system. Um, so I can, how can we guarantee that credentials are untouchable by a system that's like fully compromised um, by never revealing the credentials to the system? And how do we do this? So rather than the user entering his actual credentials, he'll instead generate random tokens, which can be replaced with the credentials later on. Um, there are three components uh, to our solution that allows this. The first is the browser extension is in charge of generating the tokens and sending them to the server. Um, then there is the Pi. Uh, the Pi is in charge of authenticating requests and allowing the user to choose which credential to replace the token with. Um, and then we have the server. The server has the actual credentials on it and um, it, it does the swapping between um, the credential and the a random token and in general it's in charge of just bridging all three components. So the benefits to our method is the user's computer will have no need and it will not even be able to view the credentials only the meaningless tokens that we generate. Um, it also functions as a universal two-factor authentication because the user has to authenticate on the Pi. Um, and then the credentials are only in one place and they're encrypted. They're on the server. They're not on the user's device. And then this, and this works with most existing websites. It's not like, it is, uh, unlike Fidelius, it's, it's more straightforward. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so on the left here, we have the GUI for our password manager. Um, at the end, it's gonna be on the Raspberry Pi, but for demo purposes, it's just easier to show off um, on our browser. So here we have all the user's passwords, credit cards, usernames, and emails. We have a button where you can add a new one and also edit all of them. Um, and so now- On the left, um, we're gonna try to sign into Canvas. But first of all, we need to sign into the extension so it knows who we are. Um, once we sign in, we can enable the proxy, which will process all post requests. So first we need to generate tokens. So we'll go ahead and right click in the user field, go down to our context menu, click username, and then we'll generate a password, click password. And then once we have that, we can go back to our uh, Pi. And then if we refresh, it should grab a request at the top. And you can see here that we, on this domain, we're allowed to use the UC Davis username and then do the same thing to grab our password, grab that. And now that we've submitted it from the, from the GUI, we can safely log in. And as you can see, even though we haven't entered our real credentials, we have successfully logged into Canvas. And that's it. Thank you.